You awake? You, you know, I know you might be a little bit afraid about having this procedure, but I hear the transplant is just like having a tooth pulled or something. I'm not afraid. I just haven't decided yet. You're going to have that test. This is my sister we're talking about. We're not going to let her die just so you can have one of your modes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but leukemia. That's one of the diseases they pretty much have worked out, right? Like diabetes. Well, I will correct you. That is wrong. What is going to happen to my sister now? On the off chance you can't find a donor. Why don't you sit down? You see, without a bone marrow transplant, we would have to rely on chemical therapies, what you would call chemotherapy, yeah. as a way of sustaining the patient over a number of years. What kind of a number? Ten? Uh, a lower number. Nine? A much lower number. As the immune system suffers under the chemotherapy, she'll grow weaker, and, and there could be respiratory problems. Sometimes patients become bedridden, totally dependent, hopelessly depressed. Eventually, you'll just have to find a full-time nurse to help you take care help of them. Help me? What? Well, you can't take it all on yourself, your sister, your father, and then there's your aunt. <laughs> I'm not taking anything. Why would you think that? Well, I assume No, that... no, no. I live in Ohio. I just got a degree in cosmetology. She's gonna be fine. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. How could one sister be so good and the other so bad? So, you're saying that Coral is good? And Amber's bad? Coral used to be bad. Oh, but she's been a saint ever since her car accident. <gasps> that Volvo was a blessing. Come on, look at her. really good care here, you know? Dad never put Mom in a place like this. Do you remember how he cared for her? I was little. I wasn't allowed in the room. <sighs> I get my degree next quarter. Well, you should be proud of that. Yeah. I already did one freelance job. I did hair for a TV commercial. It's just local, but guess how much they paid me? I don't feel like guessing. Well, guess. Guess. Three hundred dollars? That's right. Why'd you guess that? It just popped into my head. Most people would have guessed lower. Three hundred dollars is a lot of money. I feel like my life is finally starting. <sighs> Ladies. What a beautiful room. Wouldn't Ruth love this, Bessie? This place gives me the creeps. Marry me, Coral. Yes, Lance. Yes, I want to be your wife. Oh, Coral, do you mean it? I'll drop the charges. Not a Coral and Lance up to the day. Um, I'm going to show you something over here that we're particularly proud of. Uh, this is our state-of-the-art physical therapy room. Right over here. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind living here. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, isn't it? Hello, doctor. Also, we have a full range of activities for our residents. Uh, computer games, a video library, sing-alongs, Nerf basketball, <laughs> date night. Uh, who's dad gonna date? You'd be surprised, Miss Wakefield. Women outnumber men here five to one. Uh, I don't think we can afford such a nice place, though. <laughs> well, if you dropped into a lower income bracket, you could qualify for financial aid. Lower? 70% of our residents have qualified for assistance by spending their savings and their home equity on something that has no resale value and cannot be considered an asset. Lower? What do they buy? 
Most by very elaborate tombstones. I'm gonna wait in the car. Do you have something that I can take with me? Of course. <laughs> 